in this video, we want to talk about really how to make more sales a lot easier by putting out content mm -hmm. value. So yeah, specifically yeah. valuable content, not just, Hey, here's my dog, right? Not content for content's sake, mm -hmm. but content for value's sake. If you think about this, like, okay, let's take a, a brand new beginner off the street. Let's say he or she wants to start selling a $2,000 coaching program. They don't have, let's say they don't have any content. And they start going up to people and saying, Hey, do you want coaching from me? Person's like, uh, can I check you out on your Insta? And like, oh, I don't, I don't have Instagram. Oh, can I check out your YouTube? Oh, I don't have YouTube. Mm -hmm. No, sorry. I'm not, I don't really want coaching right now. But it's like, hey, can I check your Insta? You send it to them. They're like, oh, wow. Can I see your YouTube? And they're like, oh, wow. And they see all your stuff. And they're like, wow, this person's legit. I, yeah, I want coaching. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. If you have a catalog of value, people can like instantly decide if they want to work with you or not. Mm -hmm. But if you have no catalog or very minimal catalog of value, like it's hard to justify working with somebody, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then you, the more you watch and the more you see of that person's content, like say you, you're just like randomly looking on, for example, say I wanted to chop my bangs, right? To get my bangs back. And I start going on YouTube and I find this one person who cuts bangs by themselves and they teach how to do it. And I'm just like really enthralled and the stuff they teach is amazing. And then they start teaching like how to grow healthy hair and everything. And you just like fall into this like information overload from this person that you really resonate with. And then all of a sudden you see their offer and you're like, oh, heck yeah, I want to work with you to grow my hair extra long or something. It's like instant. It's so it's easy when you go brainer. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's like, it's like, imagine you're like, imagine you're, uh, you're really into guitar and your favorite guitarist is putting out YouTube videos all the time. And then your favorite guitarist is like, Hey, by the way, do you want to learn to play guitar? Just like me? I'll teach you. Duh. <laughs> I play guitar. You play guitar really well. And I like you and you're offering to teach it. Yes. Let's go. So that's what it's like in, in the raw food game and in the vegan game. It's like if you share your vegan message or your raw food message or your weight loss message or your fitness message a lot and you really help people. And then when you finally go make that offer, it's like for those people who click with you, it's going to be like, duh. Mm -hmm. So um, really, all, and, and today we had like five points we want to go over. And the first point is like, it, it, it blows my mind when some people like try and they want to like, they want like a, a content shortcut or something, or they're wondering if they can like delegate out the content creation or if they can just like not do the content creation. And it's like, that's the fun part. Mm -hmm. That's like, as a musician, that's like the songwriting and performing piece. Mm -hmm. How are you going to be a musician if you're not writing songs or performing? You, you're not even a musician. Mm -hmm. So if it's, you, it's that the whole reason why we are doing what we're doing right helping people yeah. creating the content engaging with people and sharing our story so that we can help others that's like the whole reason yeah. right so that's like you said the fun part it's <laughs> and, and and if you try and, and you try and skip that part then not only do you no longer have that catalog that we talked about earlier but like you don't even get good at teaching what you want to help people with you don't even get good at coaching mm -hmm. the thing that you want to coach people on so youtube and instagram is like a free place to practice your coaching your teaching exactly oh there's a pyramid it's like that learning pyramid right mm, yeah yeah and that learning pyramid basically at the bottom is like okay if you like just like see someone doing something you're gonna retain like 10 percent of it or something oh no if if you, if you, if you hear it. yeah if you read or hear about it you retain like 10%. But then if you like see someone doing like a demo, you maybe retain like 20%. And then if someone's like going through it and coaching you, you learn like 60, 70%. But if you start teaching it, mm -hmm. you like, you retain like a hundred percent, 110%. Mm -hmm. You become like a master at it. Yeah. So it's like whatever you want to get really good at, uh, teach it a lot. Mm-hmm. Yep. And the more you teach it, the better you get at it. Big time. Right? And, and the, the easier the information comes, like I know there's some people who say, 
oh, well, I don't know as much as you do, or I don't know this, or I don't know that. It's like, share that information. And the more you share the information, the easier it is to retain. And you're just like, well, I know because I've said it like a hundred times, right? So it just becomes second nature, just like learning a language, right? Yeah. You can't learn how to say, can you make me a salad? If you only say it once, you have to say it like thousands of times. And then it's just like, so easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that comes to our, our next point here, which is like not being afraid of being repetitive. Yes. This is one of the things that so many people say, you guys, I'm so worried that I'm being repetitive, that I'm saying the same thing over and over. And I get this too, with people who are doing raw vegan, right? Because it's a, a fairly simple diet. It's not like we're doing animal products and grains and junk food and everything. It's fruits and veggies. So there's only so many ways that you can prepare it. And people are like, well, I have the same smoothie every morning. The thing is, is that people value seeing someone be consistent. So even if you're eating the same thing every single day, right? I mean, granted, we should be eating variety, but we'll just say you're having a smoothie every day for breakfast. People want to see you be consistent with that because that alone is inspiring. Even if it's the same smoothie every day, it's inspiring to see. And people want to see that because then if they see if you can do it, then I can do it too. And it's like, look at all the people teaching meditation. Mm -hmm you might wonder how do you teach meditation you're literally sitting and like doing nothing but there's like meditation teachers there's meditation gurus mm -hmm. there's like meditation retreats people spend thousands of dollars to go to and it's like you're literally doing nothing yeah. and yet there's people that like they want to learn and they buy books about meditation and they go see speakers speak about meditating and it's like how much more repetitive can you get like your breath goes out and your breath comes in and then you focus on it mm -hmm. like what else is there to talk about but like, I love learning about meditation yeah. and I know other people do too. Uh, and it's like, it's just the ultimate example. And like, mm. like what's there to, what's there to learn? You're literally sitting and closing your eyes and focusing on the breath. How repetitive can you get? Like that's the ultimate. So if your, if your activity is more complicated than meditating, you can go deep into the, the, the peeling of the banana. You can go deep into the storage of the orange. You can go deep into, you how know. You blender. <laughs> like, yeah, you can go deep into how you pick your grapes. Like you can go deep into each and every food. Like I saw you actually uploaded a video, got like a lot, I got like 13,000 views I saw today. It was an old video, I think, where you're like, why I don't eat potatoes. Yeah. I'm like you could make a video about every single cooked food you don't eat, mm -hmm. right? Like why I don't eat rice, <gasps> just eat rice. It's like, yeah. why I don't eat brown rice? <gasps> Wait, brown rice? Why I don't eat bread? <gasps> like, well, tell me, <clears throat> right? It's like, you just don't do any of that shit, but you like, break it down, right? Mm -hmm. So, and same with bad habits. It's like, why I don't stay up past midnight? Yeah. Like, just you can talk about that stuff and you can go deep into the why and the benefit and your story behind it and how to sort of struggle with that. Like, as long as there's a desire and a struggle, there's a story. Mm -hmm. and like all the foods that you've given up i'm sure there was desires i'm sure there was struggles you got stories around all those foods yep as long as like if you if you were if you're fit now and you were overweight you can talk about that and people love that like if you struggled with something and you wanted something you can talk about it and people will be engaged mm -hmm.